What's up guys, Eric Prey, Focus Fishing Guide Service, Table Rock Fishing Intel. Got another video fishing report for you. It is Tuesday, January the 10th. Gonna be 60 degrees today and tomorrow both. Man, I'll take it if this is January for now. Um, as far as our lake level is concerned, we are at 914 point, I think 73, 74. Uh, puts us, what, two tenths, almost three tenths down from normal winter pool. Uh, of course, really not been running much water at all in the chain. So we don't have a lot of, we've, the only water we've got coming in is coming in from the rivers and the creeks and so on and so forth. Got a little bit of rain coming, I believe, tomorrow night into Thursday. So we might see them kick on some generation or we might see the lake come up a little bit. Water temperature, we've warmed up. We're 48, 49, pretty much everywhere I've been. Even with these cold nights, uh, the lake is holding its heat. It's a lot different than some of the other lakes. Uh, I've talked to some guys that have been up at Stockton, Palm de Terre. They're in the upper 30s. We're in the upper 40s. Bull Shoals the same way, upper 40s. So, but it doesn't look like our water temperature is going to go anywhere anytime soon. You know, the fish are biting. Uh, I've had some really good trips this past week. We've had some other people on the internet, on YouTube, saying that uh, Table Rock is dead or screwed or whatever. Okay, whatever, don't care. I might deal with that on a later date, but I can tell you right now, we're catching fish. Got a lot of reports that we've had from myself and other guides over the past three or four days on Table Rock Fishing Intel, where we're showing a lot of fish being caught every day and being caught a lot of different ways. Um, but best way to know, best way to stay on top of it, best way to know how you're gonna catch them, the best ways to catch them when you come down, check out Table Rock Fishing Intel, become a pro member and get those reports, get those daily reports. Like I said, we've had I think we've had a report almost every day for the last week. So a lot of fishing reports out there, a lot of guys catching fish, a lot of different ways to catch fish. So check out Table Rock Fishing Intel if you haven't done so. But if you're going to come down, say you're going to fish the lower end of the lake, lower end has been a little bit tough. Um, not exactly sure why. The deep bite's definitely the strongest bite down there. Um, most of the fish are coming on the main lake. The shad have really, with this warm up, the shad really have not moved into the creeks like we normally see them this time of year. So a lot of fish on the main lake, a lot of fish on main lake points. It's kind of the same bite all over the lake as far as the deep bite is concerned. Um, you know, these fish are holding right where these long gravel points roll into a channel and the shad will be out in the channel and they're breaking off smaller groups of shad, pushing them up to where they can kind of pin them against the bottom and they're feeding. Most of the fish I'm catching at the main lake and pretty much all over the lake are anywhere from 55 to 70 feet deep and they're very close to the bottom. I'm using the scope spin, I'm using a scuba spoon, I'm using a jig and wrap, uh, using a Domeki rig, a little bit on a drop shot, but most of it are baits that I can work a little bit faster and kind of get these fish agitated and chasing. So that's definitely a good bite. Have talked to some guys that are catching them on a jerk bait down there as well. Jerkbait fish have been on those transition areas uh, where you've got some deep water close by. Those are mostly largemouth and smallmouth, and they're kind of where it goes from big rock to small rock. And if you've got a little bit of wood cover around, that really seems to make a big difference down there by the dam. Go up in the mid lake, and deep bite in the mid lake's been strong as well with the scope spin, scuba spoon, jigging wrap, Domeki rig, drop shot rig, all that's working. The pattern's kind of the same all over the lake. You can find from time to time, you'll find some shad back in some of the creeks. And you, if you can find that, you're gonna catch a lot of fish out of those groups. But for the most part, our better bites been out on the main lake or very close to the main lake on gravel and rock points where it kind of rolls into the channel. That's really important right now is having that deep water close by because that seems to be where the shad are until we see this water cool down, they start working their way back into the creeks. It's really where the bite's gonna be. Again, anywhere from about 55 to 75 foot deep, close to the bottom, working that bait fairly fast. The jerk bait bite, A-rig bite, has been much better in the mid lake than it has been down lake. Uh, most of those fish, again, coming off of transitions or coming off of some sort of cover, cover whether it be a brush pile, cedar tree, or something like that. A lot of guys catching them on a Mega Bass uh, Vision 110 Plus One, guys catching them on a McStick, and then guys catching them on an A-Rig around there as well. So keep that in mind if you're going to fish the mid-lake. Go up into the James and you definitely have a good jerkbait bite up the James. A lot of fish coming on a jerkbait around wood cover, whether it be standing timber or brush piles. A lot of guys catching them on a Mega Bass uh, 110 Plus One and Plus Two. Guys catching them on a McStick and the new McStick Plus One. Really, you'll see these fish, if you've got forward-facing sonar, you can see the fish around the brush piles and you can see them actually come out of the brush piles and eat. Guys are catching them on an A-rig up there as well, throwing it around wood cover, 
throwing it around schools of shad on the main lake. Seems like the shad are a little bit shallower up the James, so you can kind of do that with an A-rig. And then guys are catching them on a jig, especially around boat docks. I'm not exactly sure why it's so much different in the James than it is anywhere else, but you can catch them around boat docks if you've got a little bit of wood cover with a jig, uh, mostly a, a pro spider jig, something you can work through that cover a little bit easier. And those fish tend to be in that 10 to 20 foot range. It just really depends on where the brush is and where the shade is, where those fish have been. And that bites better in the afternoon when those shallows tend to warm up a little bit better. Go up into the White River. White River, I spent a lot of time up the White River this past week. Um, fished everywhere from Baxter all the way up to Shell Knob and caught a lot of fish deep in the, in the White River. Again, it's that same sort of deal. Those fish are on the main lake or near the main lake. The shad tend to be in the channels. Those fish are on those gravel points and gravel and rock mix points. And anywhere you've got where they're pushing those little schools of shad, they're breaking the schools off of the big school, up onto that, sh onto that gravel is where you're going to catch fish. Look for those fish to be anywhere from about, well, we caught them as shallow as 45, but for the most part, it's about 55 to about 75 foot deep, very close to the bottom, using a scuba spoon, scope spin, jigging wrap, Tamiki rig. One thing I will note is that if you do see a fish or two up in the water column around that 20 to 25 foot range, those have been better fish and they are extremely active. Those have been either big Kentuckys or big largemouth that are up in the water column and those fish are ready to bite. So if you see one up there, make sure you bring your bait up and put it in front of them because those fish are definitely going to eat and they tend to be the little bit better fish than the Kentuckys that are schooled down below. Have been catching a few around uh, shell knob on a jerk bait, mostly main lake, but a little bit back into the creeks on those rocky transitions where it goes from big rock to small mount or small rock. Been catching them on a Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one and a few on a stick, but that uh, jerk bait bite has been pretty good. Um, I think it'll get better if we get a little bit cooler water and get the shad moving to the to the bank a little bit better. Haven't really thrown an A-rig up there, but I'm pretty sure you can catch them on an A-rig up there as well. Guys, we're a week into January and the weather's fabulous. It's supposed to be really nice tomorrow, so that'll be interesting to see. So we got a little bit of rain coming in at the end of the week, but who cares? might bring the lake up might get some little bit of generation kind of get the shad moving either way that'd be great but the bite has been really really good catching a lot of fish i had over 30 fish both saturday and sunday on my guide trips with over 20 keepers so a lot of fish being caught right now a lot of a lot of good things going on but the best way to know what's going on best way to stay on top of it join table rock fishing intel <clears throat> get those daily reports get those weekly reports Get all that information that we send that we put out on a daily basis to help you catch more fish on table rock lake but if you're coming down want to hire a guide give me a call it's focused fishing guide service you can reach me at 417-860-4743 or hit my website focusfishing.com and either shoot me an email or or book online either way i get back to you as soon as i can guys again thanks for watching the videos don't believe everything you hear on the internet table rock is not dead table rock is not screwed we're catching fish you want to see how we're catching fish give us a call or join table rock fishing intel but thanks for watching can't wait to hear from you we'll see you on the water